guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic and we are still here in the Amazonian rainforest, the Amazonian maze. And today we're going to be going after a specific type of catfish species. I'm going to go ahead and show you this guy. It is, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but it is called, once I find it here, I think it's Sorab. Sorabim catfish and it's a little tricky to find it's usually found in the really deep deep water but it, a lot of times you will also be catching the pariba which are a little bit easier to catch not I shouldn't say easier because they're huge but they are more prevalent you know prevalent in the areas these right here but I have a pretty good spot to catch these guys I actually found it more by mistake than anything else because I was fishing for a papa and then I managed to catch one of these guys and I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you there I don't know if there's other places that you can catch them I'm sure you can catch them off of boats as well but let me go ahead and show you here real quick jump back into the map now you gotta go up to this location. This is the Maboya village. And this is where I found them. And it is nighttime during the peak. And usually in the late evening and nighttime is the best time to fish for these. They'll go for a lot of different baits, but it seems like they will go most for either shine arch minnows the um, I think they call them the Koyu minnows or whatever I'm not sure exactly what that's called let me see if I can get my flashlight going here but we need to come all the way down here if we're going to get them I think I might actually have to nope right here there's a boat right here this is where we stop and where I get them by bottom fishing. My understanding is on YouTube, most of the guys have been doing it on boats and using wagglers, but I managed to catch one without doing that. And since I did, I figured I might as well share it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get my line set out here. Now, if we check the map here, you will see that I have placed a couple of markers both of these markers well, this one I actually caught a pariba and you could catch those they are out here too like I said before this one I don't I didn't put it as the mark the fish but I did mark the depth or the area we need to throw in this general vicinity and I believe it's out a little past 200 feet so I am gonna go ahead and change my bait here you probably want at least a four odd hook, but I think a six odd hook is probably ideal. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a shiner on there. I'm gonna change this up too. Let's see, I've got four odd. We're gonna upscale that to a six odd. And I think this time I'm gonna put one of the large minnows. I do have medium cut bait. They will go for the large cut bait. Let me see, I think there's some other things they will go for too. Some of which I don't have available to me right at the moment, but yeah, the Araku minnows, the dead Lambari fish I can't get. Medium cut bait, as I said before, large cut bait and large minnows. So, and they do go for the shiners even though they're not listed. It says they'll go for soft baits such as crawls, crayfishes, and shads, but I can't from the shore really cast out that far. So kind of have to make do with what you have. Okay, we're gonna throw this one out with the shiner. You can just see the marker. Now this may fall a little short but I still managed to catch him even though it wasn't directly in the, the hole. 
I've only caught the common size so far. They do come in trophy and unique. Now this one will reach it without any problem. Okay, it was slightly to the right of that, so I'm going to have to cast this next one. No, I don't want semolina balls on there. They, they also went for the clam meat, which really struck me as odd. But the Priba really liked that too. So if you want to avoid them as much as possible, not that getting them is a bad thing, it's just that they are huge and they tend to take a little while to get in. And we'll throw this one out there. I'm going to throw it slightly to the right since it seemed to go to the right just a little bit. It must be a bit of a breeze. Yeah. Now, other than the catfish, I really haven't caught much of anything else here except for those silver croakers or whatever they're calling calling them okay we've already got one now this could be eh, it's probably not one this might be a silver croaker or whatever they call them You can also get the ripsaw catfish out here. And the flat whiskered catfish too. Shiners all over the place, but I tell you what I might do. I might throw a waggler on here. Seems like a lot of the nope. too late, we got another one here. Looks like it's the third one. Not sure what this is. Some kind of, yeah, that's a trophy silver croaker. Okay, cool. Now that's the first trophy of these guys I've gotten. And it is a personal best at this point. And they do come in unique. I don't know what you get for them, but he's almost six pounds. <coughs> Let's see what he looks like. Yeah, see, he's about a bass sized fish. Okay, we'll keep him. If we can't get these guys tonight, we may have to come back later. Try in the late early evening or late evening. Anyway, let me go ahead and get that waggler set up on here. Let me get that. Let me go ahead and get that waggler set up. See, that's the only thing. I've never used a waggler. So I'm not sure if I should use the slider heavy or the waggler X heavy. I think I'll try the waggler X does give me some extension. I'll put the large minnows on here. And I think we're going to get a little bit more casting distance out of that too.
Oh, yeah. Wow. Did we ever. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I can see that. Where did it go? Okay, let's... Okay, there it is. It's right where I want it to be. The only problem is I cannot see that sucker. I barely see it. So I'm pretty much going to have to use the right thing on the right as my guide. Alright guys, I have decided to go ahead and fast forward time because we were not getting the sorghum and the good thing is we have a much bigger peak in the nighttime and one at the end of the day here. So it's definitely worth a try. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and switch this out with the minnow. Alright. I think we got everything here pretty much as we had it. Now that time in between I did not waste. I went ahead and did some serious fishing over in the salt water area. Some seriously strange sounding birds. And I have discovered that they do go for the clam meat, which is interesting enough. All right, looks like we got something here. I'm pretty sure it's a pariba. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of pariba in this location. I will tell you though, they are definitely a fight until you get into a much higher level. Even for me, and I'm a level 49, they are a serious fight. And this is probably just the common size. Well, this may take a while, guys. <laughs> I don't know. He's not budging. Two hours later. Well, we finally made some headway. <laughs> Damn. These guys are tough. You definitely have, have to have some time investment on these. But they do pay off, honestly, because they do give you a lot of XP and a lot of cash. Just on one fish. Well, shoot. Keep getting into the 40s, and the daggone guy keeps running off with it a little bit more. Slowly but surely, I'm going down. Alright, I think we got him. Yep. There we go. 6154 cash. He's just a regular Paribas. Pariba. Whoa! Holy... Oh, shoot. I'm surprised I didn't break. I was fishing with the waggler and just was re reeling it back in. Something bit at it. I don't know what. Whatever it was, it wasn't too bad of size. Yeah, I was just trying the medium cut bait. Yeah, we got something on the other one, too. So, oh, cool. Unique silver croaker. 
There you go, guys. I see how good size he is. That would be my first. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Strike timed out. Well, still, I got a unique. It was probably another Pariba, which meant I would have been fighting him forever and a day. I bet he took my bait, too, so I better get this in. Yeah, he took my bait. Creep. <laughs> Yeah, even though the t strike says timed out, a lot of times they still get your bait, so you might as well just reel it in. Okay, this doesn't... Uh, no, I don't think it's a parabola. Could be what we're after. We'll see in just a second here. Yeah, the Ripsaw Cat's a pretty good size, too. I think that's one of the ones we're after. Yep, there it is. Sorbim Catfish. See the stripes on them? I think they call them... Shovel Cat... Or Tiger Shovel Cats. I think that's their common names. Yeah, this is what they look like. They're good size, too. And he's about 12 pounds. I wish I could hold him out in my hands so he could better, a little bit better look at him, but I love the coloration on him. Definitely an unusual catfish. Alright, we'll go ahead and keep him too. There you go. They're right here. Uh, there's been a couple times I've caught two or three of them in a row. It just depends on, I guess, the weather and the time, but this should be the right time. And as you saw, I got him on the clam meat. Alright, another one off the clam meat. Let's see. Mm, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I think this might be a pariba. <coughs> uh, boy, another fight. And now he's taking it out. And sometimes I'll swim towards you and you'll think that you've got him. I've got him in as close as 40 feet and then had him take it out 400 feet. I'm going to put him down here for just a second while I try this one. It's probably worth the risk because this could be another Cerebum catfish. And let him get his run out. Nope, I think this is a Ripsaw catfish. Ooh, a trophy one. 1794 cash, not too bad. Ah, shoot, I lost him. Ah, shoot. Well, guys, that's a chance you gotta take. Sometimes they do get off. When you get multiple ones on different rods, your best chance is to pick it up if you wanna get them all, but it doesn't mean it's guaranteed. Okay, let's see what we got here off the medium cut bait. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Oh boy, this is on the float rod, guys. <laughs> yeah, I caught him off of a waggler. Uh, 
no, this is going to be a fight if I'm going to continue doing it. Well, I mean, I've got almost 600 feet of line. Might be able to pull it off. There he goes. <laughs> 300. Okay. Just got to be patient, guys. Yeah, you have to be seriously patient with these. Right, he's going to drag it out again. No, he is not even close to letting up on it. Damn, he's going to get to 400. Yep, 400. Well, he could very well spool me, guys. It's been known to happen. Well, I'm going to keep at it. If anything happens, I'll bring you back. A little later. Well, I managed to get him in a little closer, but I think I might try going down towards him. He is swimming down this direction. Sometimes if you follow the fish, you can gain a little ground. It's worth a try, because whatever this is, he's big. At least I think he is. I've been misled before and thought I had me a trophy or unique and turns out they weren't. Five hours later. Jeez. That took a very long time. Not sure how much actual time it took, but I got him. Trophy Pariba. 10,360, 6403 XP, guys. 6403. That was well worth it. Well worth the time investment. Let's take a look at this guy. What do you think about that? And that, e that is not even the biggest they get. I mean, the uniques are really big. I mean, he looks like a shark almost. Give me a picture here. Really did not know they came that big over here. Well, now I gotta get all the way back. <laughs> yeah, I had quite a few strikes ended over here because the fish got off of them while I was fighting him but I was not going to give him up this time let's go ahead and get our lines back out there well guys I hope you enjoyed this episode please be sure to share comment like subscribe and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic until then I'll see you later bye bye